Why can't I have a heart attack? I'm allowed. Who doesn't love a fast food burger and fries every now and then? The fact that fast food joints such as McDonald's and Burger King do so well is a clear indicator that most people do. Not to mention, most people think that whenever they splurge on burgers and fries from one of these joints, they are eating the least nutritious meal around. They are actually quite wrong, because fast food from those restaurants are actually quite low in calories compared to what is offered at the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas, Nevada. So prepare to be shocked as we look at the top 10 untold truths of Heart Attack Grill. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go home and have a heart attack. One major oxymoron. What does that even mean? The Heart Attack Grill was founded in 2005 in Tempe, Arizona by former health nut and personal trainer John Basso. He not only owned several fitness studios and Jenny Craig franchises, but he used to preach to everyone he knew about weight loss. He then realized that not everyone could lose weight easily due to their genetic makeup. Along with other challenging situations, he became bitter and jaded about the weight loss industry. He then decided it was time to go 180 and began by listening to stories from his clients about about how they cheated on their diets. I cheat on my diet, but nobody knows. Basso also loved the idea of serving food that was so bad for you that it would be shocking. After being inspired by writing a marketing essay about gym studios, in conjunction with the fascination of how his former clients cheated on their diets, the Heart Attack Grill was born. Basso created a hospital-themed restaurant where the waitresses pose as nurses. When they take your orders, they act as if they're taking down your prescriptions. There were several franchises in Arizona and in Dallas, Texas. However, those did not work out. So if you want to go to the Heart Attack Grill, then you'll have to go to Las Vegas, Nevada, where this is the only one. Basso's message to those who eat there is to eat at your own risk. Or just hurry up and die and be done with it. People over 350 pounds eat free. Nothing is better than free food! Those who want to eat at the Heart Attack Grill must be prepared for the fact that they are going to get weighed before they enter the restaurant by a nurse slash waitress on a livestock scale. Remember, this is a hospital-themed restaurant, so you will be instructed to step on the scale before entering, just like you would when you actually go see your doctor. And here is the kicker. If you weigh 350 pounds or more, then you will be able to eat for free. With that said, if you weigh 349 pounds or less, then you will have to pay for your meal. You have to pay. And if one of the things on your bucket list is to go to the Heart Attack Grill to eat for free, then you will need to keep gaining weight. If you're nowhere near the 350 mark, all you need to do is live as much of a sedentary lifestyle as you possibly can while you eat a box of pizza each night, along with other fast food menu items. Keep plenty of candy bars in stock as well. And then before you know it, you will hit your goal of 350 pounds and can now enjoy eating at the Heart Attack Grill for free. Lucky you. God, you are so lucky. Several deaths are tied to the heart attack grill. She has a heart attack, she drops dead right oh. on the spot. Plenty of jokes about having a heart attack at the heart attack grill go around for obvious reasons. However, several deaths have actually been tied to the restaurant. The spokesperson for the restaurant, Blair River, age 29, weighed 575 pounds at the time he passed away after complications from pneumonia on March 1st, 2011. River was a good friend of the owner, John Basso, and Basso was saddened that he lost his life at a young age and even acknowledged that his weight may have played a role in not fighting off the pneumonia. The Arizona franchise closed several months after Riber's death. Additionally, in April 2012, a woman ended up unconscious while eating one of their double bypass burgers. She was also drinking booze and smoking as well. That, that can't be good for you. Yeah. And here's the ultimate irony. The official Heart Attack Grill spokesperson, John Alleman, who was also a daily patron, ended up dying from a sudden heart attack while he was at the bus stop right in front of the restaurant in February of 2013. Alleman was only 52 years old at the time. Also, a year before that, a man was eating a triple bypass burger, which is even worse in caloric value than some of the others served there, and started having a heart attack. Basso had to call 911 and the customer was taken to a real hospital. Just take me to the hospital. The vegan menu is cigarettes. Are you a vegan? 
fast food joints such as Burger King, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, and so on will offer salads or some form of vegetarian options on their menus. However, if you were to go to the Heart Attack Grill and ask for a salad or inquire about vegetables being put on your ultimate fattening burgers, you will be laughed at. Well, actually, they do offer tomato and onion slices, but if you are looking to eat anything healthy other than that, you can forget it. And if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, then this is not the restaurant for you. There are absolutely no vegetables or healthy options available. Even their all-you-can-eat flatliner fries are fried in animal lard, not vegetable oil. Because, again, nothing related to anything healthy is associated with this restaurant. You can't sit with us! And that also means if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, the only thing you could order from the restaurant that has nothing to do with meat or animal fat are cigarettes. Yes, cigarettes are on the menu. Their Mexican bottled Coca-Cola is also made of cane sugar, so perhaps vegetarians can enjoy that if they wanted to experience the restaurant. Chances are a vegan or a vegetarian would not want to step one foot in the door. However, if you have a good friend who is a vegetarian and wants to go with you to the Heart Attack Grill, then go and wolf down the triple bypass burger with unlimited flatliner fries. All this while your vegetarian friend can smoke a few cigarettes, drink that Mexican bottled Coca-Cola, and shake their head in complete disbelief. You're unbelievable! One of the burgers is about 20,000 calories. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. You may have heard that the quadruple bypass burger from the Heart Attack Grill was the worst possible fast food item that anyone could possibly eat. This is because it is made up of four half-pound beef patties, eight American cheese slices, as well as 20 pieces of bacon, and it adds up to just around 10,000 calories. However, you would either be excited or horrified to know that the quadruple bypass burger is no longer the worst item on the Heart Attack Grill menu. That crown goes to the octuple bypass, which, as the name implies, has nearly double the amount of calories as the quadruple bypass burger. The octuple bypass burger is just around 20,000 calories and consists of eight half-pound patties, 40 bacon strips, lots of cheese, chili, and a tomato. By the way, their buns are also fried in lard. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner! This is a true heart attack on a plate. The one thing that many people wonder about this extreme burger is how can you possibly pick that thing up and eat it, let alone be able to finish it in one sitting? Think about it. If the average adult needs around 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day, then the octuple bypass is really meant to keep you sustained for 7 to 10 days. After eating this burger, you probably won't be hungry again for at least a week. Oh, so full, huh? A spanking if you don't finish. Yes, you must give us all a good spanking! <laughs> If you hear of someone being spanked for not finishing their meal, you would automatically think it was the 1950s and Timmy didn't eat his broccoli. At the Heart Attack Grill, if you do not finish the calories that were prescribed to you, then the nurse slash waitress will not be pleased and she will give you a spanking. You really are expected to finish up that prescription of calories that the doctor ordered for you. Always do what the doctor orders. However, is the spanking mandatory? No. That is, if you are a good patient, then they will let you off the hook. However, the nurse will be quite sad if you still fail to finish your meal. And before you become terrified of going to the heart attack grill due to the strong possibility of failing to finish your meal, don't be. The spanking that patients receive will not hurt. You will be asked if you want the spanking to be hard or mild, and again, if you don't want to be spanked at all, then they will respect that as well. Just remember that the spanking that you would receive at the heart attack grill for not finishing your food is all for fun. Oh, just for fun. Free wheelchair service at the Heart Attack Grill. Whee! <laughs> the quadruple bypass burger is 9,982 calories. And you know that the octuple bypass burger takes the cake at nearly 20,000 calories. Add any of those burgers to the unlimited flatliner fries that are fried in lard, along with loads of mozzarella cheese and gravy splattered all over it, and that right there is a recipe for a heart attack. Why stop there when you can increase your risk by having any of those alongside the butterfat milkshakes at the Heart Attack Grill proudly offers as well. <laughs>
A milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. With that said, anyone who is able to finish those hefty burgers will automatically get wheelchair service by one of the nurse slash waitresses. That comes with the order, and if you are successful in going through the procedure, aka the hefty calorie consumption, then you will be wheeled over from the restaurant right to your car. Doesn't that sound like fun? The service is not included with the single bypass and double bypass burgers because those ones are not life-threatening enough to warrant such measures. Just a flesh wound. Get paid to appear on infomercials. But our infomercials are running 24 hours a day. Have you dreamed about becoming a star? Well, if you go to the Heart Attack Grill, your wish could very well come true. Heart Attack Grill is working with Bad Diet Productions to help them produce rock videos and infomercials. They are looking for extroverted and fun people to go in front of the camera, and they will pay them quite well for this, too. They need people to be involved in their projects, and if this is something you have really wanted to do, then this is your your chance. How can anyone really turn away from such an exciting opportunity? You go to Vegas, have some fun at the casinos, then try out the Heart Attack Grill on Fremont Street. And you also have a chance to appear on camera while you are getting involved in a bad diet production. And you get paid for it. How can I say no to that? This opportunity really has to be on everyone's bucket list. Well, not everyone. Those who are introverts, vegans, vegetarians, health conscious, or camera shy are not going to be the ideal candidates for this opportunity. However, for anyone else, you only live once, right? YOLO! YOLO! Go ahead and have an octuple bypass burger along with unlimited flatliner fries and a butterfat milkshake if you dare. And then go and tell them that you want to be on camera and get paid for it. That is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. Let's just ignore the fact that you may have significantly shortened your lifetime in the process. I've just sucked one year of your life away. Sharing is forbidden. It's forbidden! As mentioned before, you are expected to finish your food if you go to the Heart Attack Grill. And you already know that you will be spanked if you fail to finish your prescription. So it is not a surprise that if you make the commitment to eat at the Heart Attack Grill, you will have to finish what you order, especially the larger burgers. That's right, you cannot split or share the larger ones. And this is why if you dare yourself to eat one of their larger burgers, then you really are making that commitment. If you made a commitment, you will honor that commitment. The only exception is that you are permitted to split the extremely tame 2,500 calorie single bypass burger or the coronary dog along with the sides. With that said, if you're not daring enough to try one of their larger burgers, but you still want to have the experience of eating at one of the most intriguing restaurants around, then you are better off with sticking to the single bypass burger. However, just remember, the nurses won't be pleased and you may still end up with a spanking. He needs a spanking. An unexpected complaint. Well, that was unexpected. It should not come as a shock to anyone that the Arizona Board of Nursing would file a complaint about the Heart Attack Grill. Think about it. They serve the unhealthiest food around, and any restaurant that offers burgers that are close to 20,000 calories, along with unlimited fries that are fried in lard, will cause medical associations to file many complaints. Hello, I wish to register a complaint. However, the Arizona Board of Nursing filed a complaint against the Heart Attack Grill for the fact that their waitresses are dressed in naughty, cleavage-bearing, skimpy nurse uniforms and high heels. They believe that this was an insult to the nursing profession. While they may have a point, there are also other obvious medical issues associated with the restaurant. It's sort of just a weird scene all around. Yeah, that is weird. No heart attack concerns with our content, so stick around and tap that screen to check out one of our other great videos. And if you would like to become an official Babble Topper, click on the join link in the description below to find out more.